Well, some heat relief and more monsoon downpours coming. Byron has your certified most accurate forecast. Hey there, Doug. Yeah, a live look around New Mexico. Angel fire right now. Quiet with some clouds building over the mountains, but there is a flash flood watch in effect there. Albuquerque, we are quiet. And Silver City, after some rain, a flood advisory in effect. Things are beginning to quiet down there. We're also looking at some sunshine peeking through those clouds as well right now. And we do have that flash flood watch that is in effect for Angel Fire, Red River, and the Sangre de Cristo Mountains until 10 o'clock tonight. We've seen a flash flood warning for the Hermit's Peak Calf Canyon burn scars and most of the thunderstorm activity so far has been across northern New Mexico to the Four Corners region and western parts of New Mexico as well. I want to take a closer look at Albuquerque because look toward the mountains. You do see some showers and thunderstorms firing up. These are generally moving off to the north and northeast, but uh, an outflow that is working toward the west side of the metro could try to spark some storms as we head through the evening. So just keep that in mind. Live look right now from the Crest Camp shows the quiet conditions out there. A more monsoon active pattern, a more active monsoon pattern pattern is ahead with pockets of heavy rain, some localized flooding, and those temperatures will be coming down eventually. So that planter this evening, just keep an eye out for a passing storm possible in Albuquerque. If you hear thunder, take cover and get inside this evening. Tomorrow morning, waking up quiet with temperatures in the 60s. Here's the overall flow. We have this ridge of high pressure off to the east. That's drawing in that monsoon moisture to western Arizona, western New Mexico, rather Arizona, and also the Full Corners region. And also this low pressure system that's working through the Rio Grande Valley in Texas is going to be working toward New Mexico as well as we head through the next couple of days. The monsoon index tomorrow here in Albuquerque still in the medium category with scattered showers and storms, pockets of heavy rainfall possible across parts of the state for your Tuesday, it looks like in this frontal boundary into the northeast going to be a focal point for more thunderstorm action. I think as we head through your Tuesday up around Raton, Las Vegas, and again, the uh, Calf Canyon Hermit's Peak burn scars in the northern mountains of New Mexico. And that low pressure in the Rio Grande Valley in Texas is going to be working towards southeast New Mexico as we go through later in the day on Tuesday, bringing a better chance of rain there. So the potential of some excessive rainfall that could lead the flash flooding across northern western parts of the state also working toward the southern part of the state. And then look what happens on Wednesday. Wednesday, better chances of some pockets of heavy rain that could lead to flash flooding as we head through the week. And I do think that we're going to see a good chance of rain accumulating across a large part of the state. This is the forecasted rainfall all the way into Saturday, where you see those yellows and oranges. And that's where the rainfall will be the heaviest across northeast New Mexico and the southern parts of the state. Farmton, Chinle, Gallup Grants, the Four Corners region. You've seen pockets of heavy rain, even some flash flooding around Cortez and Chinle for today. And as we head through the next several days, scattered storms, it could lead to some flash flooding, so just keep that in mind. Southwestern areas of the state, scattered showers and thunderstorms with pockets of heavy rainfall possible. I think ramping up for Silver City Thursday into Friday, those temperatures will be coming down into the 70s. We're going to have to watch the south and southeastern parts of the state. Again, this is the area that's going to be impacted with that low pressure that's working out of Texas. So Roswell, I think your rain chance is going up and those temperatures coming down. And again, any of that rain could bring some heavy rain and even some localized flooding. And with that frontal boundary working in the northeastern part of the state, Raton, Las Vegas, into Santa Rosa, Moriarty, watch out for the potential of some heavy rain that could lead to flash flooding. And you definitely want to get notified with your KOET app. So make sure you stay alert to the weather in your area. Temperatures will be coming down. Same deal for Santa Fe, Los Alamos, and Española into Taos. Better rain chances ahead and cooler temperatures back into the low 70s by Saturday. Bernalillo, Rio Rancho, Los Linus, and Blinn. Still some scattered showers and thunderstorms possible for tomorrow. I think tomorrow night, Doug, looks like the best chance of storms for Albuquerque tomorrow. And then I think Wednesday, we'll see a better shot at showers and thunderstorms. And notice those temperatures. We're in the low 90s tomorrow, but lower 80s by Saturday with good chances of some heavy pockets of rainfall. So much rain in the forecast. We need to know where our umbrellas are every single day. Yeah, just be just prepared. Absolutely. Right. Good call. Okay.